Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. Uh, some of you in the UK will have probably had a three day weekend with it being a bank holiday yesterday. Let me know what you got up to, put your comments down below. I'd love to know if you did anything better than we did because we had a pretty boring couple of days. All we did was like key yesterday. Like is always fun. This morning, I have been decorating this room. Finished off taping the walls. Jenna done most of it, but I need to finish it off so I could paint all the data rail going all the way around the room. And um, I did this entire door. I did the skirting board on these sides here. I'm gonna leave everything around here because there's a lot of work still needs doing for the fireplace. And because we've got a dog and we need to kind of, he needs to be in the house somewhere. Um, I've done the outside of the door here, but the door jam like inside here, um, I've left for now. That way this door can be shut and the dog can be kept out so it doesn't get paint everywhere or get covered in paint or whatever. It's very orange. Um, I put another coat of plus from the wall here. It's a bit rough, but it's now leveled out the hole. The next step is to go to home base in a minute. I have something to eat for us, I'm starving. Go to home base and get something to sort of skim over that. It's gonna take about 24 hours to dry, so I can't do it till tomorrow. Uh, but if I skim over that, it means that it should be nice and smooth. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be a good looking wall. Um, and you've probably noticed a hole. Because of the flu for the, it was a gas fire that was here before we moved in. Um, and then someone put an electric fire in its place. The hole was a flu, the hole goes all the way up. There. So I figured the safest option would be to put a bit of ventilation in. So it doesn't get all like wet and moist and whatever. Um, gives a bit of a, a bit of airflow so I need to, when I finished it off, I'll put a brass, maybe a brass or silver vent over it. So it will look a bit odd having a vent in the middle of a wall, but the TV will be in front of there, so you won't really notice it, hopefully. And if you do, well, it's not the end of the world. It seemed like a safer option to give a bit of ventilation for it. I may be wrong, but better for me, I would say better safe than sorry. I'm pretty chuffed. Unfortunately, I cannot do any painting of the walls. I could do the ceiling tonight, actually, probably. But I can't do any painting of the walls until this woodwork's all dried. Because how red is that line? Until the woodwork's all dried, because I need to take the tape off and whatever. You, you know the drill, we've painted before. And if you haven't, trust me. So if all goes to plan by Thursday, all the walls should be painted along with the ceiling. And then it's all ready for us to get some carpet put in. I would love some carpet in here. Well, there's carpet now, but it's sheet. It's blue. You can put some dark blue carpet in a room. Well, I managed to get everything that I came out for, which is always good. I even picked up some more stuff that I didn't realise I needed, which is never good. Got some dinner for tonight, which is a nice healthy salad, and some donuts to compensate for said salad. Uh, picked up a new TV bracket for the bedroom. We've recently reoriented our bed so that it's facing 90 degrees to what it was. But we can't now watch the TV from our bed, so we need to relocate it over to a different corner of the room. But because, of where it, but because of where it's going to be, we can't use a bracket we had, we need something with like a tilt and swivel action. So I had to stop by Argos and pick one of those up. I'll try to get that fitted tonight so we can actually watch TV because there is nothing we can do in the living room until tomorrow morning. And there's no TV in the living room and it's not a nice place to sit because it's very exposed because there's no curtains up. So I think that is probably priority. And I got some more plaster, um, but more of a, a skin plaster because, well, one, I ran out of the plaster I bought for filling the hole, and two, it turns out it's not the right type of plaster for finishing the wall. It's just designed for filling the holes. So that was a waste of money, although it's probably needed because both things probably can't do the same job. Anyway, I got some, which is good. Oh, it's five past five. I might see if Jen needs a look home because she should be finishing work about now and she's just around the corner. Look what I picked up from work. Yay! And at night, you'd have to walk in the rain and the no, cold and the I wind. Think I can die. You wouldn't have thought it was summer tomorrow, would you? It's the final kids' half term before the summer holidays and it looks like a bit outside. It's alright, I'm not a kid. I don't care. I have kids. No, but like the kids' half term before summer, right. it should be summer now. It is technically summer. 
Wow. This is the first of June tomorrow. Yay, this is June. I don't know, the point of it looks like this is miserable. Okay. Dinner time. Chris has made so much progress downstairs today that there is very little for us to do this evening because we're waiting for the gloss to dry from earlier on. But while we were waiting, Chris has also been out today and has bought a new TV bracket. So now we are in bed and we can watch TV. How cool is that? Kind of feels like I'm 10 years old and I've just been given a TV for my bedroom again. So cool. I may never go downstairs again. See, this is what my mum was scared of, that I would spend all of my time in my room watching the TV. Because I can. We just got back from taking the dog for a walk. We were going to take you with us, but it was raining and we figured we'd rather you didn't get wet. So, you stayed at home. We're back now. I'm back to editing. It's now nine o'clock, did you say? Yes. Yeah. 9 o'clock and I've still not finished editing the vlog that should have gone up three hours ago. I'm about halfway through editing the entire thing. It's taken a bit longer than I expected, but I'm getting there. Oh look, I look a bit doped up. I think I'm just blinking. So I'm sorry if you've been waiting for today's vlog and it's a bit late, but I've had so much on trying to get the shopping done before the shops closed at 5, 5, 6 o'clock? I don't know, whatever time they close. I need to get those done so I can get the TV bracket up, which it is. Did that as soon as we had dinner because I figured get it up sooner rather than later. Oh, it's overblown. Pretend that looks better. I was going to edit the vlog earlier, but I figured the sooner I get the painting done, the sooner it'll be dry. This time, not the same time tomorrow, then I can actually get paint in the walls. So I just kept putting the vlog, editing the vlog off until I just got to a point in the day where I couldn't do any more decorating. Fortunately, that meant it's late. Sorry, guys. I don't know why you didn't edit it. I didn't work. Because you don't know how to. I do, I've got a cheat sheet that you made for me. How, how many times have you used that? Never. Never! While Chris is busy editing this evening, I have the TV all to myself. So I've put Netflix on and I've started watching Prison Break. Now I know, I know, I'm like 10 years late to the party or whatever. Everybody else ever has seen Prison Break. I've seen Prison Break. He's seen Prison Break. I told you, everybody's seen it. But everyone says how good it is, and it's on Netflix, and it's free, and I've got an hour to kill. So I'm watching episode one at the moment, and so far, it's a really interesting concept. And had I not already known the setup, I imagine it would have been quite exciting. Unfortunately, I already know the premise of the story, but it's pretty, so far, it's proven to be pretty good. It's called Prison Break, of course you know the premise. It's no. in the freaking title! No, but I know that he's, the, oh, but what if I give the spoilers away? I know that the tattoo we got at the beginning is of the the prison and I knew he was trying to get in in order to get someone out but I didn't know who he was trying to get out I now know it's his brother and his brother's on death row I heard you know and now he's going to get him out that's the premise of the story No? You should watch it I am watching it, it's on TV now I've just finished episode one of Prison Break and it was really cool I think Chris commented on how young everybody looked but it is a really, really old show. Does it say what year? Yeah. 2008. So it isn't 10 years old. I thought I was even further behind than I am. Oh well. Um, Unless 2000 was eight, and eight was the fourth season rather than the first one. I'll find out. I think it's 2008. I, in fact, I thought it was 2005 because I thought it came out my thought it came out my first year of uni. First episode was 2005. Yes, I was right. IMDb says 2005. Thought it was. Anyway, I've just seen episode one and it was really good. Have you guys seen Prison Break? Is it something that you've watched like right through from beginning to end? I can't really imagine where it's going to go beyond the first season because if they get out of prison, presumably they do that in the first season, then what happens in season two? I don't know. I'm probably not going to watch it for that long to find out. But if you guys know, shh, don't tell me. It's a secret. Yeah, it was really good. I'll definitely watch episode two, but not now. Don't forget to give thumbs up, hi, leave us a comment if you haven't done already, if you have any questions for our q and I don't think we've mentioned that for a while, you should leave us questions. We'll try and do it this weekend, we're trying to get the, the front room decorated first. If you don't finish decorating we won't do it. Hi, you better finish it. So leave us a comment down below if you've got any questions that you want to include in our Q&A and come back and see us again tomorrow. Good night guys. We still haven't painted anything, we've spent the morning kind of washing stuff down, standing stuff off, 
Chris is going downstairs. We don't have a basement. No. 